Hello everybody and welcome back to more political chatter. In this video we will be talking about Mike Pence and how he is set to announce his presidential campaign in one week on June 7th. So on June 7th it was announced um, a few days ago, maybe a week or two ago, that CNN will be holding a town hall with Mike Pence similar to the town hall they held with Donald Trump. There will also be one with Nikki Haley on June 4th. So they called it this presidential town hall with Mike Pence on June 7th, and everyone was wondering. It's a presidential town hall, and Mike Pence is not a candidate. I mean, they're doing one with Nikki Haley. They did one with Donald Trump. Those two are both candidates already in this race. So there was a speculation that Mike Pence would announce his candidacy before um, that June 7th deadline, and it will be before the town hall, just a few hours earlier. He will um, launch with an announcement video and then a speech in Des Moines, Iowa. Um, that is what they told NBC, and then um, later CNN and Fox News. So that is happening. There will be a Mike Pence rally in Des Moines. Go out if you want, if you're supporting him and you live in the area. And he... Um, will announce his campaign there, and then, you know, I guess get things started with that presidential town hall on June 7th. Um, looking at the primary right now, we have seven candidates already in the race, Ron DeSantis, Larry Elder, Nikki Haley, Ace Hutchinson, and I don't need to go through them, you get the idea, and three more are about to jump in, Mike Pence. And looking at Mike Pence polling numbers, um, here, let's look up here, I guess, he has for the first time, I think, like, since February, Mike Pence has fallen into fourth place behind Nikki Haley. He was always ahead, well, not always, but um, for most of the race, he has been ahead of Nikki Haley, and, it, and he has just fallen to 3.8%. Nikki Haley received a bit of a boost after she announced her candidacy. Maybe something similar will happen to Pence. Maybe he could get up to six, seven points like Nikki Haley was able to do. But right now, things are not looking good for Mike Pence. I mean, you know, we hear so much news about him. You know, if you watch uh, whatever, MSNBC morning show, whatever, you, you know, you're going to hear about Mike Pence. But in reality, so few Americans are supporting this guy for president. I mean, no one treats Marianne Williamson as a serious contender. But a lot more people are supporting Marianne Williamson for president than they are Mike Pence. Okay, just keep that in mind. So, um, Mike Pence is at so few people, really, in comparison to voters or the country's population. So few people are supporting him. So he will have a real hard time uh, really gaining any traction in this race. And it's not like the debates will happen at all. Here you can see how he has just fallen behind Nikki Haley. Nikki Haley is now in um, third. Mike Pence is only at 3.8% of the party. That is just so, so little. And, I don't, and looking at these candidates... He is so, so similar when it comes to um, how he leads, you know, what kind of campaign he's going to run. He is just so, so similar to these other Republicans. Ron DeSantis, very, you know, very comparable. Nikki Haley, definitely very comparable. You know, these more traditional conservatives. Glenn Youngkin, when Youngkin gets in the race, if he does, he probably will. Asa Hutchinson. So, so alike when it comes to traditional conservativeness. And then Tim Scott, or he, you could compare him to Donald Trump as well. Doug Burgum. So, um, Mike Pence is about to get in. I just wanted to share this with you all. And I don't really have much hope for him. Um, at the end of the day, I looking at his numbers, he doesn't have much of a shot. I mean, um, if... These candidates wanted any shot at beating Trump, they would be endorsing Ron DeSantis. But shows you uh, how the political system is just, or how our politicians are just in it for themselves. So, thank you all for watching this video. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. That would help out a lot. I hope, all, I hope you all enjoyed. I know it was a short video, but I just want to get this out there. Um, This was just hours ago, by the way. But again, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you all next time.